Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome to Lesson 7.8, Subtraction with Renaming. Our essential question is, how can you rename a mixed number to help you subtract? So our goal today is to subtract, which is finding the difference. But what do you do if you can't subtract two-thirds from one-third? We're going to be renaming a mixed number. Go ahead and turn in your Go Math book to Lesson 7.8. All right, boys and girls, so we're going to start with question two. And with question two, it says, if you have six holes and you want to subtract three and two-fifths, what would be the difference? Now, a common mistake is some kids would just drop the two-fifths down and then subtract six minus three. But you can't do that. I'll show you why. What you need to do is you have to regroup. In other words, if I can't take two-fifths, from a fraction amount, I have to make a fraction. So to make a fraction, I'm going to take away a hole from my six and make it five holes. And then we're going to create a hole to make up for that hole that we took away from our six holes. So I would have five holes and five fifths. And the reason why I chose five fifths is because my denominator here is a five. So to make a hole, it would be five fifths. Now I can subtract. I can do 5 fifths minus 2 fifths is 3 fifths, and then 5 holes minus 3 holes is 2 holes. And the model would look something like this. I would start with 6 holes, and I cannot take away 3 and 2 fifths yet. I, have, I can take away 3 holes, but it's going to be hard for me to take away 2 fifths here until I make 5 fifths to take away. So I'm going to take this hole right here and just make it five-fifths. There's my hole. Now I can take away two-fifths from there. One-fifth, two-fifths. And now you can see that my answer would be what's left over? Two holes and three-fifths. So we're going to skip question three and look at question four. We're focusing on the even numbers today on the video. All right, so for question number four, as you can see, I want to subtract nine and three-eighths minus eight and seven-eighths. So I want to start with step one is to subtract my fractional amount. I cannot subtract seven-eighths from three-eighths, so I'm going to have to regroup. So that way I can take seven-eighths from three-eighths. So the way I do it is I look at my whole amount right here. I have a hole to take away. So I'm going to take away a hole from my nine holes and make it eight holes. And because I took away a hole, I can make a hole. I'm going to add a hole to my three eighths. And so the hole I will add is eight eighths. So now eight eighths plus three eighths is 11 eighths. So now this is really just 11 eighths. I'm just going to put 11 eighths right up top there. So now I can subtract 11 eighths minus 7 eighths would have to be 4 eighths. And then look at my whole numbers. 8 minus 8 is 0. So my answer would be 4 eighths, also known as 1 half. So let's take a look at question number six. On question number six, I have eight and one six minus three and five six. We want to start off with step one, which is subtract our fractional amount. I cannot take five six from one six, but I can make it work because I have eight holes here. So let's go ahead and borrow a hole from my eight holes and make it seven holes. And since I took away a hole, I'll make a hole. And I'm choosing to add six, six, because you pay attention to your denominator, that tells you what your hole will be divided into. So one, six plus six, six is seven, six. So I'm going to just cross that out and call this right here, seven, six. Now, it still has the same value as my original eight and one six. I just renamed this as seven holes and seven six. This way I can subtract, but it still does equal eight and one six. Now I have seven six minus five six is two six, and my whole number is seven minus three is four. Four and two six, or better known as four and one third, because you can simplify two six. So what do you do in a case like question number eight, where it says 10 and a half minus eight and a half? 
Well, you're just going to go ahead and subtract your fractions. One half minus one half is zero halves. So if you have the answer as zero halves, you really don't have to write anything down because it means nothing. Because if you had something divided into two parts and zero is shaded in, nothing shaded in. So I'm just going to leave my fraction amount alone and now I can just focus on my whole numbers. 10 minus 8 is 2. So 10 and a half minus 8 and a half is 2 wholes. And here's why it proves that 10 and a half minus 8 and a half is 2 wholes. Because if I started out with 10 and a half like my model shows here and I were to take away 8 and a half 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the half, all that remains is two holes. So when in doubt, draw a model. Okay, so taking a look at number 10, we have 9 and 3 twelfths minus 4 and 7 twelfths. If you feel like you know what to do here, pause the video and see if you can do it before I do. If you're not sure how to do it, just keep listening. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now. Okay, if you try this one on your own, you should have done this. I cannot take 7 twelfths from 3 twelfths, so I need to regroup and borrow a hole from my 9 holes and make it 8 holes. Now I'm going to add a hole to my 3 twelfths. Because I took away a hole, I can add a hole. But now I want to call this 3 twelfths plus 12 twelfths equals 15 twelfths. So now this is renamed as 8 and 15 twelfths minus 4 and 7 twelfths. So step 1, we're going to subtract 15 twelfths minus 7 twelfths, and that's going to equal 8 twelfths. And then let's subtract our holes. 8 minus 4 is 4. So you should have said the answer was 4 holes and 8 twelfths. Now you can simplify 8 twelfths, so if you went ahead and did that on your own, you should have said 4 holes, and I can simplify this. 2, 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So it's 4 holes and 2 thirds. I hope you got this one right. Okay, if you feel like an expert, go ahead and pause the video, try this on your own. If you feel like a novice or an apprentice, continue listening. Okay, if you did this on your own, you should have said 9 holes and 1 third minus 2 thirds. Well, I cannot take away 2 thirds from 1 third, so I have to make it work. So let's go ahead and you should have said, I'm going to borrow a hole from my 9 and call it 8. And since I took away a hole, I have to add a hole to my 1 third. So I'm going to add 3 thirds. So 1 third plus 3 third, I can now call this 4 thirds. Now I can take away 8 and 4 thirds minus 2 thirds. So 4 thirds minus 2 thirds is 2 thirds, and I have 8 holes. So your answer should have been 8 and 2 thirds. And I know it's already simplified because 2 and 3 are consecutive numbers. Okay, pause the video and try number 14 on your own, and then when you're ready, uh, you can press play. If you want to still do this with me, guided practice, and you don't feel like the expert yet, go ahead and continue doing it with me. All right, for this one, we're going to look at our fraction part first. 5 eighths minus 7 eighths. I cannot take 7 eighths from 5 eighths, so I have to regroup. I'm going to rename this 4 holes as 3 holes. I'm going to take away a hole, so I need to make a hole. I'm going to add a hole to my 5 eighths. So 5 eighths plus 8 eighths is 13 eighths. So I'm just going to cross this out and call this 13 eighths. And now I can subtract. 13 eighths minus 7 eighths is going to be 6 eighths. And then 3 holes minus 1 hole is 2 holes. So your answer should be 2 holes and 6 eighths. But I want to get you ready for fifth grade, so I want you in the habit of simplifying all the time. So you should have two holes and three fourths. Now I know it's simplified because three and four are consecutive. And how did I get three fourths? Because six divided by two is three, eight divided by two is four, and therefore I can simplify it. 
So just like on the first question that we talked about, number two, we started out with a whole number with no fractional part. Now remember, we don't just drop three-fifths down. That will not work. Your job is to create a fraction to subtract from. So go ahead, pause the video, try this one on your own. Okay, if you did this correctly, you should have said, I need to take away a hole from seven and make it six holes, and I'm going to create a hole and call it five-fifths. Five-fifths minus three-fifths is two-fifths. Six holes minus one hole is five holes. It is already simplified because two and five only have the common factor of one. And for our problem solving down at the bottom of your page. Number 17 says, Alicia buys a five pound bag of rocks for a fish tank. She uses one and one eighth pounds for a small fish bowl. How much is left? Okay, you know that uses means she's taking it away from her original. And how much is left tells me, yeah, my operation needs to be subtraction. So you're going to start off with five whole pound bag. She's going to use one whole and one eighth. So what is left? Go ahead, pause the video, work this out, and then we'll check it together. Okay, for this one, I hope you did not do five minus one is four and drop down your one eighth because that would not be following the rules. What you need to do is say, I have to subtract one eighth from a fraction amount, but there's none there. So you should have said, I will make a fraction. So let's borrow a, fraction, a hole from my five, which will make it four holes. And I'm gonna make eight eighths to be the fraction amount. Now four holes and eight eighths still has a value of my original five pounds. 8 eighths minus 1 eighth is 7 eighths, and my holes will be 4 hole minus 1 hole is 3 holes. I know it's simplified because 7 and 8 are consecutive. So let's look at our problem solving down below. It says Xavier made 25 pounds of roasted almonds for a fair. He has 3 and a half pounds left at the end of the fair. How many pounds of roasted almonds did he sell? So in other words, we want to know how many did he sell if you know he has 3 and 1 half pounds left. So you need to set up your equation as 25 holes, that's what he started with, minus three and a half, that's what he has left, will tell you what he actually sold. Go ahead, work this one out, and we'll check it together. Okay, please do not tell me that you did 25 minus three is 22 and just drop down your one half. If you did that, you did not follow directions. What you need to do is say, I cannot take a half from nothing right here. I've got to make a fraction to subtract my one half from. So you should have changed this to a 25 becomes a 24 pounds and two halves because 24 pounds and two halves is still the value of 25. We're just renaming this so we can subtract. So you have two halves minus one half is one half, and 24 holes minus three holes is 21 holes. This is the correct answer. Okay, so go ahead, turn your page over to the homework questions on the back side. Guess what? You only have to do questions one and two. So if you are following this video along with me, you only have to do the first two for tonight's homework. Save the last four for tomorrow night's homework. All right, so go ahead and answer these two questions carefully. Don't forget to assess yourself. Write and record somewhere on your page if you're a level one novice, two apprentice, three practitioner, four expert. Somewhere on your page regarding how you feel about our subtraction with renaming. And we will check questions one and two in class tomorrow, and then we will finish the other questions for tomorrow night's homework. Have a super awesome night, and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Have a great night.